right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Topper Tuesday. The topper we're going to be talking about this week, look at this guy. This is from Svoy Mesto. This is the K-Fun Mini version 3. This is a mouth-to-lung rebuildable tank. K-Funs have been around forever. The K-Fun Lite used to be literally like my favorite thing of all time. It was my end game. I had a K-Fun on like a DNA 12 back in the day, and it was literally just the best thing ever. I absolutely loved it. This is kind of the most updated, current, bestest version of the K-Fun. But in order to get to know it just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close, as we always do. Quick, short, upy, closey time. <clears throat> All right, yeehaw, what we have here is the K-Fun Mini version 3. This is the newest, most recent, and most bestest version of the K-Fun tank. K-Fun tank's always been a mouth-to-lung tank, so you can see tiny airflow, tiny airflow, tiny airflow. It is a mouth-to-lung tank. So like the K-Fun version 4, this is a top fill K-Fun, and unlike the K-Fun version 4, it's not over-engineered in any way. It's very simple. Pop the top off. There's your juice flow where you bleh your juice in. And you can see right there in the base, those are your juice flow holes, which go to your deck. And right now, they're all the way closed, but you give it like a couple turns open, you can kind of see them opening up just a little bit. So every time you fill up your juice, you're gonna close off those juice flow holes, and then when you go to vape, kind of turn, turn, turn. Oh, you see them opening, open, 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 open. And if you keep going in that direction, you'll eventually just uh, take off the base. So don't go too far when you're, uh, you know, opening and closing your juice flow valves. And there's the deck right there. Differently styled K-Fun deck, but it's mostly the same. Two screws, you build a single coil in the middle. You have two little holes right there for your wicks to go in. And right there, that's where your juice comes in and up and is going to get to your wicks to make them wet. There's two holes for juice. You can kind of see one there. You can kind of see one over on this side. That's just the build I have on there. This is 26 gauge Niachrome. I think it's like a 13 wrap. It came out to 1.3 ohms, but when you're doing mouth to lung, 1.3 ohms is just beautiful. There's a look at the 510 pin on the bottom. Eh, yeah, I mean, that sticks out pretty well. I'm not sure if I would feel super comfortable using this on a hybrid. I definitely run my K funds on a regulated device, but that 510 pin is sticking out pretty good. It's just, uh, it's just borderline, just borderline right there. Now, this does come all the way apart if you want it to. I haven't found a need to do that yet, but you can unscrew this 510 pin. 510 pin comes out, the threads come off, and then there's a nut here that you can unscrew and take this whole assembly apart if you so desire. Me personally, nope, I'm just gonna leave this all together. I'm gonna crank that 510 pin down nice and tight so it's making a good connection. Now I have it here on the Axis Vapes M17, which has a 22 millimeter, uh, you know, 510 connection right there. To me, this looks like, I don't know, 20? I think it's 19 millimeters around. And with that 19 millimeter base, it's just gonna fit uh, a little bit smaller on most you know, tube mods and most regulated mods, it's just gonna fit a little bit smaller on there. No big deal. What I want to do now is test fire my build and we're gonna wick it juice it and get back out to normal view. So the great thing about the K-Fun is you can build a nice high resistance coil on there, 1.3 ohms. You don't even need to rock it more than 14 watts because that's giving you about 4.2 volts. You'll probably stay between 14 and maybe 17 watts at the most. So yeah, the build looks like it's glowing nice and evenly. It's time to get some cotton in there. All I did was roll up some organic Japanese cotton. I get it through the coil. You wanna make sure it's uh, a little bit snug, but not too snug. And then you kinda just have to eyeball it. So what I'm gonna do is kinda cut it eh, like that, right? And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna cut it eh, like that, right? Cool. And even that might be just a bit too much. What I'm gonna do is press these wicks down into these little juice flow areas. 
I can kind of tell from looking at it, yeah, that's a bit too much wick jammed down in there. What you don't want to do is cut off your juice's ability to get up there and get into the wick and into the coil. So I'm just going to trim some more cotton off. Perfect, just perfect. You want your cotton going down and touching the base, leaving those juice flow holes slightly covered, slightly uncovered, so that the juice has the ability to wick up to your coils. I'm just gonna give it some juice here. I'm using a six milligram juice because when I vape mouth to lung, I like a nice little throat hit in there. So six milligram Mai from Lane Cove at Ruby Roo's suggestion, I think is gonna be really good. Vapors. But we're not done yet. We still have to fill the tank. So what I'm gonna do is screw the tank on here. And even when it gets snug, I'm gonna keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And what's that doing is closing off your juice flow holes down there. And then you can take your juice, and this Lane Cove bottle works perfect. You just stick it in there and bleh your juice in. Bleh. So now that it's nice and full, you screw your top back on. I kind of like to hold the base a little bit and just give it like one, two, three screws off and now your juice should be flowing in there. So we got a full tank. Let's get back out to normal view. Let's vape this guy. Now, the K-Fund's not going to win any cloud competitions, but what it is going to win is a mouth-to-lung competition and a flavor competition. If you want just literally the best flavor out of your juice, K-Fund, dude. K-Fun. This is 6 milligram Mai, and if you know me and watch my videos, you know that I've been vaping Mai for about a year now. I mean, on the daily, I love this juice. I know exactly how it should taste, and it tastes just spectacular in this K-Fun. And I upped it. I put 6 milligram in here. I had, an, I had a bottle of 6 milligram laying around that I couldn't use in drippers because it was just a little too intense. But with that mouth-to-lung vaping experience... I love that little bit of throaty throatiness that you get from it. It's, I like it. I'm a fan. The flavor, though. Good Lord, the flavor. Now, K-Fun is easy to build. It's two screws. You put your coil in. You put your wicks down. You fill it up. It's just, it's easy to use. It's easy to vape. This is one of the single most effortless vapes I've ever had. The K-Fun name still holds up like mouth-to-lung vaping. In my day-to-day -day, in my day -to -day vaping, yeah, I'm on drippers basically 24-7, but I love mouth-to-lung vaping. It's how I started vaping, and it has a very special place in my heart, that mouth-to-lung experience. And because I want a mouth-to-lung experience, I want the best mouth-to-lung experience, and the K-Fun V3 Mini is so far the best, and this is seven years of vape experience here, the best mouth-to-lung experience that I have ever had in vaping. It's just great. Vapor is fine. The flavor, though, is amazing that little throat hit sensation that i get it's it's just very satisfying it's just good so yeah even at 100 dollars i like mouth to lung i want the best mouth to lung and i think the kfon mini v3 is the best mouth to lung vape experience that exists right now in the current vape world like i said it's out of stock on origin vape I'll try to rustle up some more links to put down in the description, but that's what I got for today, everybody. K-Fun Mini V3, it is what it is. Thank you so much for joining me, and as always, yeah, dude, let's keep on vaping. That's enough.